right, so welcome to the news show, Horizons, for May 18th, 2015. North American licensor Animago has, um, is preparing a Kickstarter for a North American Blu-ray release of Otaku no Video. I should point out, this is the anime Otaku no Video, not the channel Otaku no Video. It's very complicated. Um, yeah, not releasing me. Um, the classic Gainax documentary is about uh, Otaku fandom in the 1980s. Uh, it'll be on Blu-ray for the first time in North America, and the set will include um, both episodes of the OVA, subtitled only, along with two commentary tracks by industry veterans. It'll also be region-free and will ship anywhere in the world outside Japan. Stretch goals will include new material drawn by Otaku no Video's character designer and Oh My Goddess mangaka, Kenichi Sonoda. Uh, if all goes well, the Kickstarter should launch in June. This will be Animego's second Kickstarter, after their successful Bubblegum Crisis release in 2013. A Japanese survey of 759 workers in the anime industry That's a lot. revealed... That is a lot. Mm. It revealed some hard numbers about animator salaries this week. The average anime studio employee earned about $27,000 in 2013. But that's across the industry. So so-called second key animators made only nine thousand mm. dollars while key animators made a mere twenty three thousand dollars even character designers only made forty two thousand dollars topping the list directors at fifty four thousand dollars and that's in like the most expensive city in the world man i don't know how these guys live they must <laughs> subsist on uh, just ramen noodles <laughs> exactly <laughs> Virtual idol Hatsune Miku will be returning to the opera stage June 4th and 5th. The Dutch National Opera and Ballet in Amsterdam will host the opera called The End, which was created by artists Kichiro Shibuya and YKBX. This is the third staging of the opera, which has even featured Louis Vuitton outfits. And there's a documentary about it out there somewhere. You can check out. Uh, Funimation has announced a U.S. release for Mamoru Posado's next anime film, The Boy and the Beast. This film continues Posada's collaboration with the character designer Yoshiyuki Sadamoto. Very good. Funimation plans to release the movie theatrically in the U.S. later this year and in 2016. A Funimation vice president said the film said of the film. We're confident that critics and moviegoers will agree that this is an Oscar-worthy film. That's a lot to live up to. Indeed. So uh, th uh, thanks to AnimeNewsNetwork.com for all of those news items. Thank you. And uh, moving on to upcoming conventions in the next couple of weeks. So uh, we have Animazement in Raleigh. Uh, should have about 7,000 attendees. They've got quite the roster there. So Wow. Yeah, no kidding. So Shinichiro Watanabe, director of Cowboy Bebop. Um, Kikugo Inoue, a voice actor. Toshifumi Yoshida, a translator. Crispin Freeman, Michael Center Nicholas. It's a He's lot a of people. Uh, great, great folks. That's pretty cool. And then up in Canada. In Canada is Anime North in Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's on May 22nd uh, through 24th. They're expecting 30,000 attendees. Wow. And uh, some, of, some of the uh, folks that they'll have there, Asami Shimiura uh, is a voice act mm -hmm. actor. Uh, Chie Nakamura, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Kaysen, and uh, J. Michael Tatum, mm -hmm. and Helen McCarthy, she's a writer, mm -hmm. and Mike Toole, also a writer, and Neil Nadelman. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Helen McCarthy and Mike Toole did the Anime Encyclopedia, if you're familiar with that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I've got to get a copy of that. There we are. Uh, also, Momocon coming up May 28th through 31st in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll have about 15,000 attendees. Uh, they're, uh, uh, it was a little harder to find out who's going on there, but Kristen Freeman will be showing up at Momocon. So it's be pretty cool. Um, and then upcoming Kickstarter is ready to talk about the Otaku no Video thing. That should be pretty cool. Um, so that's still in sort of beta, so it hasn't been released yet. So we'll let you know when that's actually out there. Uh, moving on to upcoming releases. Upcoming releases include uh, releases from Funimation. Uh, Funimation has .hack slash slash roots complete collection. And they're asking approximately $39, mm -hmm. $93, $0.98, <laughs> approximately. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040, complete collection. Great show. And I understand that's a classic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to see that sometime. Well, what's this next one I see? Uh, this next one is called a Puchimas Petit Idolmaster. 
So those of you familiar with the Idol Master anime series, which is sort of a uh, uh, pop idol series, this was a spinoff of that. So they're releasing season one with the OVAs for a twenty dollar release that's subtitled only, and then season two will come out also for about twenty dollars subtitled only. Now the Sentai mm. Filmworks is releasing Ninja Scroll, the motion picture DVD, mm -hmm. as well as Blu-ray actually. And now that I'm looking down there, um, DVD will be about fifteen bucks, and the Blu-ray about twenty-five bucks. It was not too bad. Pretty reasonable price. Yeah, and uh, that's the repackage of the uh, original release of Ninja Scroll the Motion Picture. That typically means it's going to have the same content, same menus, all that stuff. Just you know, a new box, just so it sits in print again. Yeah. So that's all the news for the week. Thanks all for watching. Thank you for joining us on Horizons.